Hey guys, welcome to Love 59 Videos. Ever wonder what's inside your Mazda manual transmission? Well, we've got one in here that's got to be tore down, so we're going to go ahead and get into this one and start breaking it down. I can separate the cases so I can do a repair. Um, one of the first things you want to do is there's a little support pillar right here. I'm um, going to remove that. It's two 12 millimeter bolts. Got a bunch of 14s around here. We've got to take this 10 up here so we can get to the shaft. So um, I'm going to start breaking this thing down and uh, I'll show you what's inside of it. First thing we'll do is go ahead and get all this off. Alright, that booger's on there. Let me get a screwdriver and we'll pry it off. Now you pretty much want to do this carefully. You don't want to tear this thing up. So, there you go. Just carefully like that and it popped right on up. There you go. And those are the gears you want to check out because you don't take those apart. Actually, all the gears up in here and all the shift fork stuff looks pretty good. It really does. You want to pretty much inspect everything right here. Make sure everything looks good. There's no damage on this part of it. Actually, we ha what we have is a housing that's got some damage to it. So we're going to go break that down and uh, separate it so we can get to the differential and get to the repair that needs to be done. So I'm going to start breaking down uh, this stuff right here so we can pull this all apart. So the shafts will just slide right through when you pull the housing off. First thing you're going to do is pop these right here out so we can uh, take this off. Okay, once you get these two nuts right here loose, get them out of the way. I got both of them already loose. These are going to pop up. All right. I usually take my screwdriver and come up underneath here. And all you're going to do is pop this guy free. All right. Again, keep everything together as it comes out. Okay, once you knock the roll pin out of the way, I'm going to pull this guy right on out. And again, keep everything together as it comes out. This right here, slide right on up. Okay, now you're pretty much down to what will allow you to slide it out. Um, once that's removed in there, there's nothing else that holds it into the bearings in here. But now it'll allow it to slide off the shaft. So we're going to go ahead and bust out the, uh, the other uh, bolts right here so we can separate this case real quick. Once you remove the little bolt back here, it pretty much will pull right on out. Right. And that is your case removed. That last bolt I removed actually held this right here into place. It just sits like this. And here was the damage right here. So all that tearing down to get to this little booger right here. Yep. I'm going to end up having to pull these two shafts out so I can get this differential out. So let me get everything all set up so I can get it all organized on the tray right here. So, 
uh, getting gear oil all in the tools. It's always fun. Pull the little guy out. Stick him right here. Alright, once you pull out, you got one more roll pin that's over here and, and the shaft for the shift shaft. Now the other thing that'll come out is where this ball goes in right here, goes in the hole right here. Then there's like a little, pretty much a ball bearing over there which acts as your detent as you're shifting through on the gears. So once that's all out of the way, pretty much, you can slide this out of the way. And I'm going to show you where the damage is in here. There's a reason why this had to be tore down. Let's see what we've got. Let's see a little bit of scratching up in there. Shift right here. It's got a little piece. Looks like a little spring came out over here. Let's see what we got. I'm about to get a magnet, but pretty much they grenaded in here, and of course put a big old fat crack right through here. Hello. That's what happens when uh, things come apart like that. So um, this one had actually gotten some other damage. Uh, from an accident and so it did the damage to the housing on this so I was tearing it apart to see what how far an extent of it is and it pretty much once it came apart like that it, it did some damage so anyways um, this is the tear down on it uh, pretty sure this one's unrepairable so be good for parts and everything like that so the other thing too is I'm gonna go through um, when I was pulling some of that stuff apart and let me show you real quick Get right back up here. Okay, let's so lay this right here. Alrighty. Now, when people are talking about synchros and shift forks and all this other stuff, I'm just going to go and show you. So right here, this right here would be a shift fork in there. And a lot of times you see in here these little brass guys in here, some of these gears. Those are actually parts of your synchronizers. And um, when you shift, like shifting and getting uh, grinding and everything, it doesn't go back in. What is these little brass synchronizers are worn down and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. But that's actually what that is. So shift fork, shift fork. Um, that's where the shift fork goes in. Your synchronizers all back through here. Then you've got all your other gears to go through. When you have a transmission tore down like this, one of the things you want to go through is look at all your teeth. Make sure nothing's sharp, worn down, broken, chipped. Those are the things you got to look at the roller bearings in here. Um, you also have to look at the other side of where the bearing goes in, the actual seat for it. So those are the things you always want to check through, make sure, and see how everything is. But um, anyways, this is the teardown on the Mazda transmission. So um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it helps you if you have to tear yours down. It's not hard to tear down. Just remember a couple of those roll pins are the ones that actually hold you from coming out. There was two actual 12mm um, bolts on the sides. Once those were removed, it allows you to pull the housing the rest of the way off. So I will catch you guys on the next one. We'll have busy night videos. Oh.